Okay, Junior Explorers, Cabo Blanco Nature Reserve dead ahead. Prepare yourselves for the trip of a lifetime. Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now today, we've gotten a pretty awesome confirmation. A few months ago, I did a video on the rumored Jurassic World animated series that was going to be headed for Netflix. Well, just this morning, we got confirmation that those rumors were indeed true. Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous is coming to the streaming service next year in 2020. Set during the events of the 2015 film, the show follows a group of six teenagers chosen for a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to experience a new adventure camp stationed on the opposite side of Isla Nublar. When dinosaurs start to wreak havoc across the island, the campers get stranded and thrown into serious danger. With their inability to reach the outside world, they're going to have to grow closer to one another in order to survive. So this answers quite a few questions that I had back when we first heard these rumors around March. My thoughts were that this was either going to be an animated series or something in live action. I would have preferred the latter, but I also thought we'd have a higher probability of this being animated, so it turns out that the original assumption I had proved to be correct. Now, the people behind this animated show have previously worked on properties such as Kung Fu Panda and Pinky Malinky. So we can expect to see some computer-generated animation coming out from DreamWorks next year. The executive producers are Steven Spielberg, Frank Marshall, and Colin Trevorrow. And they say that it's going to be created specifically for kids and families as part of a multi-year agreement for animated shows between the company and Netflix. How ironic is it that this information comes out directly after I covered the cancelled animated series for the Lost World Jurassic Park? We went from talking about the 1990s TV show that would have featured a three-headed T-Rex mutant to talking about a confirmed Jurassic World series that's focusing on Isla Nublar. After cancelled series for the original Jurassic Park movie, The Lost World, and the hybrid-focused chaos effect from 1998, it looks like we are finally going to be getting an animated series for the franchise. Better late than never, though, I guess. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you you guys, I had this entire video done and ready to go until I saw the trailer that they happened to release. I was ready to talk about how I thought this was going to be a super kid-friendly experience, and then I see this footage of a velociraptor that runs into frame, stares somebody down, and leaps after them like they're going to make a kill. I would have been fine with accepting a child like Jurassic show in animation, even though I wanted a live action one, but this? I don't know man, that trailer looked like the best of both worlds. You can consider me officially stoked to see when this comes out. With the group of teenagers going to the opposite side of Nublar for the brand new camp, I think it's very possible that we could expect to see dinosaurs that weren't featured in the working park during the events of the 2015 film. Animals like the Carnotaurus, Cynoceratops, or even the Stygimoloch would make for some really cool scenes in a more polished animation style to something like the Lego stuff that we've recently gotten. Oh, by the way, a separate animated series done in Lego is coming out this fall. The Legend of Isla Nublar. Don't know if I ever mentioned that before. Now that we know the plot synopsis for Camp Cretaceous, my brain is constantly snapping back to the PC game that came out for Jurassic Park 3 that was called Jurassic Park Scan Command. This was also re-released under a different title known as Dinosaur Battles. It was basically a game where a group of teenagers get stranded on Site B, and then they have to fight for survival against the dinosaurs that are trying to eat them. That game also came with the subplot of a mad scientist woman who cloned three human beings called the Primos and made a device that could actually control the dinosaurs and make them fight with one another. Call me crazy, but I don't think we'll be seeing any of that in Camp Cretaceous. If you're interested in seeing a more mature animated series that's heavily inspired by Jurassic Park, I'd recommend checking out my friend Jack's new series, Dino Defenders Extreme. He just released the first episode of it on his YouTube channel, link in the description, and it's basically an animated dinosaur show with more adult-like themes. I actually helped fund a little bit of this one, and he did the whole thing in Photoshop. It turned out extremely well, and I really recommend checking it out if you're interested. Anyways, what do all of you guys think about this news? Are you excited for Camp Cretaceous and the first official Jurassic World animated series? Or are you more interested in Battle at Big Rock? Whatever your own thoughts and opinions happen to be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below.
Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. It really means the world to me that all of you continue to watch my videos, and I never want any of you to forget that. Now, I'd like to thank all of you for watching today's video, and hope you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like, and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. See you all in the next video, guys. And as always, take it easy.